Right, if you were driving through downtown Atlanta today, not far from the federal courthouse building, this was the scene you saw. This is family and activists earlier this afternoon, all showing their support to a man who was shot and killed by an Atlanta police officer earlier this year. His family says he was shot while hiding in a closet. Eleven Lives Elwin Lopez joins us live with the story. And Elwin, protesters tell you they want to see the case file. Yeah, that's right, Ryan. This is all about Jimmy Atchison. He was 21 when he was shot and killed during a federal task force raid January 22nd. His family tells us he was unarmed and hiding in a closet. The man who shot Atchison was Officer Sung Kim. He wasn't wearing body cam video at the time since he was part of a federal task force. Federal policy forbids it. Justice. Today, family supporters and activists, including the NAACP, stood outside the federal building Saturday, demanding answers in Jimmy Atchison's death. We want to hear from the U.S. attorney directly, release the report. If you release the report, the pressure will turn down. If you don't release the report, we will continue to agitate and use our First Amendment rights to elevate Jimmy's voice that has been silenced. Now. Dozens calling for U.S. Attorney B.J. Peck to turn over the Atchison shooting case file to District Attorney Paul Howard. Why well, would he release the two file to Paul Howard so Paul Howard can do a job? A job Atchison's father says he believes it could lead to justice for his son. B.J. Release the report. B.J. Release the report. The U.S. Attorney says the case file will be released to the D.A. as soon as confidential material is redacted. In a statement to 11 Alive, the U.S. Attorney says they offered to hand over the entire unredacted file to the D.A., but under one condition, that the D.A. signed an agreement to protect personal identifiable information. The U.S. Attorney tells us the D.A. refused to sign that agreement and that they are now in the, quote, tedious process of redacting the files. And while that file has yet to land on the D.A.'s table, other changes were made after Atchison was shot and killed. Union officials say Atlanta police officers have not been part of federal task force operations for months, ever since police chief Erica Shields told her officers that they were required to wear body cams at all times on the job. And starting next year, APD is getting new body cams that will record when officers pull a weapon or a taser. And 911 centers and supervisors can activate the cameras remotely. And in the U.S. Attorney's statement to us, they didn't tell us when that redaction of the case file would be complete and handed over to the DA's office. Ryan. All right, Elwin, thank you very much for the update.